Your body is brilliant. It can even repair itself if you get injured, as this next boy will show you. If there's a bone to break, he'll break it. If there's a knee to graze, he'll graze it. If there's an ankle to sprain, he'll sprain it. He's the unluckiest kid. New shoes that rub can make your skin red and sore and can sometimes cause a blister. So what's going on? Your blood vessels deliver a fluid called plasma to the top layers of your skin. This makes the area swell and a blister springs up. It protects the seam from germs. New cells make their way to the top, replacing damaged ones. As new skin grows, the plasma fluid is reabsorbed back into the body and your blister deflates, drying up until it disappears. But to help prevent blisters, make sure there are no wrinkles in your socks and your shoes fit properly. Oh, oh dear. dear! He's the unluckiest kid. Ouch! So what I want Zander to do is stick the camera into his mouth and then using the flexible end, hook it up and look out of his nose from the back of his mouth. This is not an easy thing to do and we can only do this because we're doctors. The dangly bit at the back of the mouth, that's the uvula. Now we're right in the back of the oropharynx. So the camera's just back here now. Zahn's going to tilt it up. And wow, look at that. We are getting the most amazing view of the back of his turbinates. And it's very, very hard to find this view anywhere else. This is really an operation ouch first. We didn't even see this in medical school. So in order for your lungs to stay healthy, what they need is clean, warm, moist air. And it's the turbinates that make that happen. How would it affect your body if you didn't have any turbinates at all? Well, we're going to show you. Zand, I have just the thing to help us. A giant nose. Who? Well, won't you be angry? Who? The giant. Now, there's also a trachea or windpipe here. And then down at the bottom, a nice pair of lungs there. If you have a look inside, my nose is filled with gooey snot. You can see it here. And poking out inside it are the turbinates. And just like the ones in your nose, these are pretty hot at 37 degrees, thanks to these heating pads. My nose isn't looking quite as good. I've barely got any mucus, there are no heating pads, and I haven't got any turbinates at all. Chris, I'm really not sure that my nose is going to function as well as yours. Well, we'll find out in a minute. Remember, Zahn, our lungs need clean, warm, moist air. Are you ready, Zahn? I'm ready to the nose blowers. Using our nose blowers, we're going to see whose nostril can deliver the most warm, moist, and the cleanest air to their lung. Go! Chris's nose has turbulence, so the air passing through his nostril is coming into contact with more nasal tissue and snot than in mine. This means Chris's air will be nice and moist, but mine will be dry. This is a disaster. Our infrared camera shows different temperatures with different colours. The hottest areas are the bright yellow ones. So you can see that the turbinates in my nostril are making the air hotter than the air in Zahn's nostril. So far, Chris's nostril has delivered both warm and moist air, which is perfect for a healthy lung. But mine has cold, dry air, so my lung is at risk of infection. But now what happens if we make the air full of giant dirt for a giant nose? Great, you thought of everything. Three, two, one, go! Chris's snot-covered turbinates catch lots of the dirt in the air passing over them. But because I have no turbinates in my nostril, there's less snot. So lots of dirt is reaching my lung, making it filthy. Chris's lung is nice and clean. His nostril wins. So we've shown you an amazing TV first, an incredible close-up look at the back of your turbinates. We've also shown that your heated, mucus-covered, moisture-producing turbinates keep your lungs safe. Without them, the air reaching your lungs would be dirty, cold and dry, which wouldn't be good for your lungs at all. Zan, so it's time to tidy up and it's your turn on the rotor, so I suggest that you start with this. I'm sorry, Chris! Well, I can't hear a word you're saying. Well, you're going to have to tidy up the lab. Bye. Uh, it's your turn. 